morning you guys it's Tuesday um, we are heading out to the funeral right now it's actually we're supposed to be there for 10 and it's 10 o'clock right now and we live probably about 10 minutes so man hopefully we're not like walking in I don't know like it's not at a church it's at the actual burial site so I'm not sure how that works but we're on our way there now good morning Jay so running late because you know I had to put on my face as Jason said I was like babe it's 940 because he's watching his ratchet television shows and he's like oh lord he's like, you still didn't put on your face I was like wow so rude but I think it came out pretty damn fabulous for only having a few minutes to do it. I didn't do anything extravagant with my eyes, but my face is looking glowy and so nice. Wait, am I going to the moon? Yeah, yes. Um, and then I just put on this like nudish lip color. This is from Too Faced and uh, their liquefied lipstick in Melted Chihuahua. I figured I shouldn't do anything bold. Like I don't, I don't want like you know, I don't want to stand out. Not that I would or anything like that. But I don't want people to like look at my makeup right now. I don't want like you know to cause any kind of attention at a funeral. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like respectful of what you wear and whatever. So I figured I'd try to make it look natural but pretty. And Jason is naturally gorgeous. He doesn't need makeup. We have you have cake on your face. You have cake face? No, but not natural. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> but, uh, Babe brought me some wings last night. I didn't show you because I ended the vlog already, but he came home and he brought me some wings from, um, uh, Wild, whatever. Buffalo Wild. Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings, right. I don't know. I only been there once with Jason, like, many years ago when they first opened. I've only been there once. You've been there a few times. This is only my third time whatever more times than me I know but anyways April and I were saying we have to have a night where we go out for drinks too ew it smells there's like this big dump out here I don't know so ghetto like you know where the garbage men dump all their stuff like it's local over here so anyway I was telling babe that I like my planner. As you guys know, I have the um, Aaron Condren Life Planner. It's like $50. 50 or 50, between 50 and $65, depending on which one you get. Whatever. Plus, you buy the stickers and everything. So, like, the planner is a freaking investment, right? So, I love the planner, and I totally was looking on the website, trying to figure out which one I want, because that time of the year is coming when you order your new planner for the next year, right? But then I was like, man, like, ugh. Let me just like watch some more videos and then I saw a video on this other planner called the Happy Planner and that planner is like $25 at like Michaels, Hobby Lobby and you can use a coupon for those stores so you can get it for cheaper like $20 or less and I was like oh wow and it's comparable to the Erin Condren planner so I was like wow hopefully I could find it in the store so I could see it in person and if it's good enough or close enough or well, I won't feel sad about it um, I'll just do that so I can save my honey some money some monies I've been trying babe I've been trying guys to like cut back and like figure out cheaper alternatives like my mascara I've been buying drugstore yeah. mascara today I'm doing my makeup but I'm wearing this L'Oreal mascara whatever I put my mascara on I finish my makeup whatever and then I you know douse my face in the max fix plus and then I look at my face and my mascara is all on my cheeks now. <laughs> like, oh hell no. So I saw babe, I was like, see, this is why. This is why I, I like to go to Mac and Sephora because things like this. But in L'Oreal's defense, maybe I should have sprayed my face, you know, only like a minute or two after I put my mascara on or whatever. But I was able to clean it up with a Q-tip. But still, I was like trying to cut corners, you know, from my honeys. For my honeys, he works so hard. I'm trying not to spend all his monies. <laughs> but I do spend monies still, right? I always find something to spend monies on. But uh, I didn't get to drink, finish my coffee. I only had the tiniest, tiniest bit because I had to do my my makeup quick. But uh, anyways, we're going now. We should be there in a couple minutes.
I see a bunch of cars over there in that building. Alright. She said they're gonna come here though. Line up though. So yeah, it's gonna be over here. Alright. So we'll try to get here like 1130 and then. Um, yeah, so the burial is not till 11.45 and we're like, we thought it's at 10. Uh, so, we'll have to come back. I'm just glad we didn't miss it though. Because we were like nervous when we didn't see anybody. We were like, well, what is going on? Because we were like 15 minutes late. <laughs> but really, we're hours early. I didn't have to rush my makeup. I could have put a, a cat, a, a freaking nice wing on my, on my eyes. Darn. What do you want to do? Hmm? What do you want to do? I'm going to get some flowers for your mom. For my mom? Yeah, this is where my mom is buried. I don't think I ever like spoke about her on my vlog channel, but she passed. Uh, A long time ago. She passed when I was pregnant with DC. When I was eight months pregnant with DC. So she passed in 2006. It's nine years. And uh, she's buried right over here. So it's not far, not too far from where we live. We used to live a lot closer. Right over here we used to live. But um, then we have uh, our friend's baby over here. We had a friend. Uh, friends who lost their baby. Um, she was, I think she was eight months old. About that, about eight months old. She was the same age as Jace. They were born just a couple weeks. Jace was a couple weeks older. So that was really, really sad. Probably one of the hardest funerals. Like when it's a baby like that. So sad. Jay wants to get my mom some flowers. Jay is such a suck up, you guys. Like, my mom was obsessed with Jay. She loved him. Like, I don't know. She showed him more attention than me. God, and he used to treat her special and buy her stuff that she likes. And I'm like, you're dating me! You're dating me! <laughs> so rude. So he's over here thinking about getting her flowers. What's the last time you got me flowers? Get you someday. Someday. I get flowers like once every five years. At least you get, right? Oh my god. And my mom gets them way more frequently than I do. Anyway, also coffee. Can we stop for coffee? How come my bag was in the bag? You guys were in this car? Yes. Last night? So you drove all the way to Rocky Point? I didn't drove all the way to that time, so I was... I didn't drive that time, And then why did you... Who did her, oh, so they got in the car at Tom's house? Did you have to drop Joe home? You went with James? No, Tom took, took, took uh, Joe home. Well, James ended up taking his car because he said he was going to dip out early. So after you were done, I bought the wallet and James hit Tom. Oh, he didn't go to Tom's? No, he didn't go back to Tom's. Alright, so we're going to go to Tom's house. Alright, so we're going to go to Tom's house. Oh, so Tom dropped off Joe? Yeah. Well, he was trying to get the convince Joe to sleep over. Oh, that's so cute. It's a grown men's slumber party. Joe wasn't having it, right? <laughs> My man Joe. It's so funny. This guy got my mother. Purple, huh? The best. Why purple? Mm -hmm. Yes, my mom's favorite color is purple. Got his for some orchids, huh? Oh, 
should they get more kids to in purple? Oh, you didn't hit the bread in the hand. <laughs> she, she didn't want me to take it away. So wait, wait, what not? Like, what exactly are you doing there? Are you putting it back? burial starting Fred his name was Fred um and he was part of like a bike what do you call them like a crew yeah. like a, bike you know, club. a club bike club so that was cool to see his like club right there where are they driving to what if they're just gonna end up right there Oh, they're probably going around. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we could just stay right here, I imagine. guys so we're back home chilling um, I wore these pants today that used to be like 
skin tight that I couldn't even breathe in them. Like I could barely buckle them without them cutting off my this circulation. Is what I do for the kids when I'm home with them. On <laughs> Such an ass. That's why I don't have no problems with the kid. Anyways. He's just kidding, you guys. <laughs> I wore these pants today that were really too tight um, in the past. I put them on today and they were loose. I had to put on a belt and there was like all this extra space and they were like sliding down, right, honey? Mm -hmm. And then right now I'm wearing these Echo sweatpants. They're really cute that were too tight before I could barely get them up my thigh. And now I'm wearing them just fine. Oh, come on. We have to watch this ratchet. Right, You're always now? watching Ratchet and Nasty. What? It, come on, I hate the show. <sighs> so Jason loves the most Ratchet shows of life. Yes. Well, then you imitate all the Ratchet then. Because I hear it all the time because of you. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna watch YouTube, you guys. I'm gonna watch this Ratchet behavior. Don't let me start acting. I'm letting her the know. Look at majority giving kisses like, to Pony. Cheese. Is she saying cheese? Because she's just like, Danielle, <laughs> I'm drunk. Like, I'm not going to say that. You were drunk. I got to get a vlog camera so it doesn't get all fuzzy and gross. Huh, honey? Hmm? I need a vlog camera. Mm -hmm. So I can zoom in and be clear. How did it get to the escalated point? I'm shaking. I'm like, you know, what's going on? Like, what, what is this? I wanted to know what he was thinking. I just know you guys need to talk. Are you, are those snowmen? Are they snowmen? Is this the snowman Patrick? This is a zombie. This is, what's friends Bob? Oh, you guys see him over here on the side? Right here. Hello. On this side? No, right here. Okay, right here. Mm-hmm. That's pa uh, SpongeBob? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the yellow circles on him. Look at just... SpongeBob. Show Daddy SpongeBob. Oh, cool. And this Sponge is the star. The star? Oh, you got stars. Is that a butterfly? Yeah. Oh, fine. Having fun. The same. Oh. Good job, buddy. Why the pencil is this more? Well, Chase, I didn't know that the teacher told me to go with this. Mm -hmm. The teacher helped me. Oh, whoa, well, look. You see, you got, you got five books, right? Uh huh. And but you three, only need three pencils. But you only need three pencils. So you only need three books because you only have three pencils, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so you teacher gotta count them. So you gotta count. Let him talk. So they been doing it. You just gotta match them up, right? You gotta match them, yeah. right? Yeah, match them. And y'all, them, and one more. Mm-hmm. Good job. Now go around and meet all your teachers. Study, this is not kindergarten. I'm really interested in this private Christian college in Nashville, Lipscomb University. So this will be a great time for Chase and I to go on a little road trip. But my dad had to come along and... Why are you making that face to it? See it? Face? What is this face? My kids are taking a college trip to Nashville. I am going on the trip. I'm going to see where they think they're going to party so I can show up uninvited. I've never party. I might like it. Hey, I just don't know about this whole thing. What? I mean... I kind of just want to like get straight to work and you what? got fired from a golf course on a job that we got you. I'm just saying, I'm keeping my options open. Chase changes his mind like he changes his underwear and that's three times a day. I'm just hoping that this college tour... Hey guys, so I almost forgot to tell you, I don't know how because I'm so excited, but um... DC was on the phone like after this happened so I wasn't able to record it, but... Um, I got an email, and basically I was invited to Generation Beauty 2016 in L.A. 
Um, Generation Beauty, if you don't know what it is, it's just like this big beauty event, like for YouTubers and, you know, people like the general public can buy tickets to a, attend the event to meet like YouTubers or whatever. Um, I wanted to go to the one in New York this year, but by the time I went to buy the tickets, they were already sold out. So I was actually invited as like a YouTube creator. So um, they have like an exclusive cocktail party. Um, like that Friday and that is only like invite only and only for like people with YouTube you know channels or whatever and then they I got tickets for the actual event that it's a two-day event so I got it all for free and oh my gosh I was like freaking out cause I was like what like how did I get invited to this like I don't know like I have a small YouTube channel so how did I get invited to this and like how incredible would it be to go um, I've never been to LA, so it'd be amazing to go and see LA and also to see like some of the really big YouTubers and meet other, you know, beauty girls, like beauty fanatics and like network and like just, I don't know, just the experience alone. Like you get this big swag bag full of free makeup, um, then the event. There's like all these really big makeup brands. You get like free makeup from them. I think you could buy makeup as well. But I know like um like YouTubers get free makeup from the brands or whatever. So I was so excited and I'm like just so grateful to even get an invitation. Like I wish I would have gotten an invitation for the one in New York because I live in New York. That would have been like really convenient. I wouldn't have to spend a lot of money. But I was invited to um, the one um, in California, so we looked up a hotel and flight. It's not too bad. I mean, it's expensive, not something we were planning on spending, but it's not like horrendously expensive. So, um, oh, and this is in January. It's from January 29th. Uh, to the 31st, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we would go from the Friday till the Monday probably um, and my birthday is January 22nd so it's like the following weekend so it'd be so exciting like what an experience and obviously I wouldn't need like a birthday present like that's you know the trip alone is huge and I'm gonna be 30 so in January so that would be like an incredible 30th birthday gift to go to LA and like go to this event I'd just be so so grateful if I could do that so we'll see um, if I go we'll obviously vlog the entire time so I don't know I'm just so like beside myself about it and um, I don't know I feel excited and like motivated to make more YouTube channels and to keep pushing um, and hopefully I can network with some other people there and uh, maybe do a collab or something I don't know I don't know anybody who's going so like the cocktail party is invite only so Jay can't go so I would be like by myself and I'm super shy like I would my I just can't even imagine my anxiety level especially like seeing other big youtubers there and just being like in their presence I don't know it's just like crazy to me to think I've been watching them for like over five years most of these girls and their channels are huge like millions of subscribers um, I don't know we'll see what happens and then as far as the beauty event um, we would have to buy tickets for Jay to go and it's like hundred and seventy dollars for both days which is expensive but if I'm gonna go I would I would like him to be there you know um, but we'll see we'll see what happens but I want to share with you guys so I am super excited about it but um the kids and Jay are in the room right now, so that's why I figured I would tell you while it's quiet. We ate dinner. We've just been, like, having a quiet evening. I think it's so dark right here. Yeah, just a quiet evening. Nothing major. Um, I'm thinking about going to Stop and Shop to return his Redbox DVD once and for all. We've had it for, like, four days, and you guys know that racks up. Plus, it's not a regular DVD. It's, like, the Blu-ray, so it costs a little bit more money to rent it. So I don't know how much this kind of total but uh so i might do that ah! what are you doing
Isn't that pretty good? <laughs> Hey guys, we are about to watch a Netflix movie. We're watching Best of Me, whatever that is, I don't know. We were looking through the TV guide, through Netflix, and we just chose something because can't be um, looking for a movie all night, right? Mm -hmm. Jason is talking about how he's going to try to stay awake. I'm like, listen, no, this is our movie time, so we better stay awake or else. But anyways, a uh, long day today. But we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.